uh, and ex-pilots become a whistleblower, talking about the the uh, bad health of pilots, the way they're getting run down very quickly, the fact that the staff have to buy their own water online, their morale is at rock bottom. He said it's all about money. Pilots um, are like taxi drivers uh, today. And to one extent or another, I think it does affect the whole airline industry. Um, Ryanair's just probably the worst example we could come up with. Um, I've flown consistently for more than 30 years around the world. I've never seen European airlines where they are today, and particularly British, not British Airways, but British Airlines generally where they are today. Um, premium airlines like BA, which is my favourite airline, have gone right downhill mm, in yeah, all classes right. of the airline. Mm. You might strike it lucky on a long haul flight, but even they're falling behind other airlines. Even the Middle Eastern airlines now are ahead of BA, in my um, humble opinion. I still like BA. I love the staff in the air, but it's hard for them. The, the company's making it harder for them. Cargo is worth more than passengers today. That's the bottom line. But well, I wonder whenever I fly BA, what's gone wrong? Because the brand was always so solid. Wherever you were anywhere in the world, when you when you got back on a British Airways flight, it was like you were you were already home, yeah. and you don't get that sense anymore. I don't. Think. Well, they yeah. meddled with it about fifteen years, twenty years ago in the late nineties. They meddled with it, and it went downhill and picked up again. Yes. Uh, this time, because they were taken over by uh, the Spanish conglomerate. That's right. Uh, and Willie Walsh became the director of the whole thing. They began to place themselves, like the Spanish did, as a, an alternative to the economy airlines. So when you get on a BA flight now, in a long or medium haul flight, they're basically Ryanair type seats all the way to the front of the plane. Mm. And there's no adjustment made for different classes. The people in economy have to pay for everything, which I think is a travesty. And the prices haven't gone down that much. No, so, they, so they've become a bit like Ryanair, really. So the, the notion that there's a sort of distinctive brand then about BA isn't true. No, I mean, it's it, lost its cachet as, the, as a premium brand. I, I agree. I find that to be really sad. Uh, it was, as you say... Um, David, I, I, you felt like you were. You I were loved home. it. Yeah, yeah, I loved the atmosphere on thing, BA, yeah. even when I lived in Australia. Yes, mm. I used to. I mean, obviously, when I worked for Plan International and the World Service travel all over the world, and I couldn't agree more with you. When you got on that plane and you'd been in a hard, you know, tour in Africa, and you know, it'd been hot and dry, and you, know, and you got there, you just a big sigh of relief as soon as you got <laughs> on the plane. Yes, you were coming exactly. home, you know, because you, because it would be a demanding trip. Um, and now you're right. When you take away the sort of the classy bits of BA, and you make people pay for all the additions and so on and so forth. You're just going, it's just a race to the bottom. That's what's really getting yes, on the race right. to the bottom. And that, in the end, you're not going to out Ryanair at Ryanair no. or out EasyJet at EasyJet. No. So you need to be something different. But something. those crews work so hard, as we were saying uh, earlier. I always ask when you get on the front of the plane, if, where have you been today? Mm. And it's always interesting that, that often they're on their third, fourth flight of the day hopping around Europe. Yeah. They get it. They really pack it. Those planes are really on the ground unless they can help it. They keep them flying. And I mean, the which they have to do. The argument sometimes, David, is made that the plane is essentially flown for much of the time by a machine, and it is. Which it is, yeah. Mm. Except takeoff and landing. But mm. yes, it is. But the ones that we, the human beings, interact with are other human beings mm. and we need their reassurance we need to know that they're on the ball there's a health and safety issue here waiting to be addressed how can we put these crews through that level of hard work of intense work really interesting